Hi there, it's um, Alex from Christine Jewelers. Um, so we get a lot of people asking about um, what's the difference between a uh, synthetic diamond, um, an imitation diamond, and a, a natural diamond, and what should we look for? Um, so today I'm gonna give you a little bit of information, um, the difference between a synthetic and an imitation diamond. Um, so what is an imitation diamond? Is imitation diamond is something like a cubic zirconia or a monsonite, uh, which only looks like a diamond, but they have different, uh, very different uh, chemical and physical properties. Uh, for example, um, the uh, the cubic is created from a zirconium dioxide, um, so it naturally is a heavier stone. Um, so the added weight on the uh, on the cubic uh, makes it a little bit more difficult for light to pass through. So therefore, it means it, it has less brilliance on on the stone. Um, it has a lower reflective index um, than a natural diamond. Uh, it, it's a little bit more affordable. In, well, I mean, a lot of it's a lot affordable in price, uh, but many people do find that it's a little bit too perfect to uh, make it uh, a substitute for a diamond. But um, synthetic diamonds are much harder to detect. Um, so there's two main um, main synthetic diamonds. Uh, one called the um, uh, HPHD, um, high high pressure, high temperature growth, uh, which involves a diamond formation from a molten metal uh, such as iron nickel. And the uh, the newer method um, is called the CBD. Uh, known as the ke a chemical vapor deposition uh, low pre low pressure high temperature growth uh, diamond formation from a gas in a vacuum chamber um, in order to identify the uh, natural diamond from a synthetic diamond uh, you need specialized equipment the, na the nature of inclusions in a natural diamond it differs from the types of inclusions found in a synthetic diamond uh, but not all inclusions are easily visible through the naked eye or, or, or by using just the irregular loop. So the best way to find out if the diamond is natural um, um, or synthetic is to ask your jeweler for a, a grading report such as the, um, the GIA. Um, so in terms of like the price, depending on the size, color, and clarity, um, the lab-grown diamonds can, up, can, can be up to 30 to 30% 30 less expensive than a nat versus a natural diamond. Um, the price might differ um, if the lab grown diamond is D or F in color. So in conclusion, even even though the uh, origins of the synthetic diamond is different from a natural diamond, but the structure is still the same. Uh, one is lab grown, one is earth mined. Uh, but in my opinion that um, earth mined diamonds is almost like a nature uh, form of art. Um, um, and it's it's very unique. Uh, every every diamond is different. So um, that's uh, that's it for today. Um, if you have any questions, leave leave a comment down below, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.